Now that is just dynamite. Hey guys, it's your mate Spicy Cappuccino here with an irrelevant observation in the Team Fortress 2 game, the game we all love, as well as an even less relevant topic of discussion afterwards. Starting with the off-topic issue, it has come to my attention recently that the Ambassador was a bit over-nerfed, and surprisingly enough, a large portion of the community agrees with that it went too far. Nobody wants to make a video about it for fear of being labeled as a whiny spy man, which is why I, the spiciest of cappuccinos, have to do it. During the Jungle Inferno update, the Ambassador was given a nerf that took away the weapon's ability to get critical headshots from long range. The reason for this complaint, and I'm sure everyone and their mother has heard a hundred times, Spy isn't Sniper. Now, as you can see here, a variety of gamers in the Team Fortress community agree that the Ambassador nerf was a bit extreme. Even engineer mans like me and Mechorek who are programmed to hate spies think it was stupid. But more on that later though, as we discuss our main topic of the evening, Pyro. More specifically, the primary unlock, the Dragon's Fury. <coughs> the Dragon's Fury. The stats for the Dragon's Fury are as follows. 1. Extinguishing teammates restores 20 health on wear. 2. It deals 300% increased damage to already burning players. 3 repressurization on consecutive hits and negative 50% depressurization on air blast. But a little unknown, or lesser known fact if you've been following me on Twitter, about the Dragon's Fury is that the fireball can be reflected with the right timing and under extremely specific circumstances can be reflected right back at the pyro or other players, dealing an immediate 36 damage plus afterburn. Now, if I sound somewhat skeptical about this, and why I have to ask whether or not this is a bug or a feature, is because there's only one tenth of a second in which reflecting this back is even possible. And for some reason, some little reason, the kill icon for a reflected Dragon's Fury fireball is the same as a reflected rocket kill. Now, Practical uses for this. A. None. B. No, seriously, there, there's no point. Don't even try. If you're playing Pyro, and you have to kill another Pyro who's using the Dragon's Fury, your best hope is to WM1 harder than the opponent. Don't even bother trying to counter with your shotgun or any form of combo or melee, because combo Pyro is pretty much dead after Jungle Inferno. So just keep on WM1ing that propane out as much as possible. Yep. 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 Uh -huh. Now, back to what I was talking about earlier with the Ambassador and its post-Jungle Inferno nerf, because I have no idea how scripts work. The reason it was nerfed was because, seemingly out of nowhere, everyone suddenly started chanting the overused mantra, Spy isn't a sniper. And for the children watching, Stabby Stabby is not a snipey snipey. To which I have to say, no, really? Look at this thing. Does this thing have a scope? Nope. Can it kill any single class in a long range single headshot? Nope. Can it produce a consistent long range damage? Nope. If you answered yes to any of these, you're way too confident in your abilities, Mr. XX Pro Spy XX with a dollar sign instead of an S. Spy was never meant to be a sniper. Nor was he. This weapon was intended to counter snipers. Just like how the Razorback was intended to counter spies. And what do you know? They were both shipped out in the same update, Sniper vs. Spy. Come to think of it, wasn't the Razorback given a buff to compensate for the no overheal penalty? Yes. Yes it was. Now, I could go on for hours arguing all the reasons why this nerf was overkill and completely unnecessary, and if you go to my Discord, that's exactly what you'll find. Insert shameless plug here. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Should Volvo fix their mistake, or do you think the Ambassador got what it deserved? Also, come check out my Discord, where you can talk to me, as well as some of my personal friends, see all the latest fan art submissions, or just hang out and tell me how much I suck at YouTube and Team Fortress 2. No, please, please don't. I really like it here. Don't make me switch to Overwatch. Please?
Hit it, Doc! Come on, hit it, Doc!